Father, we come this afternoon to join this couple together in marriage. Father, I pray you just touch them, bless them in a mighty way, Father. Just help them to just settle the nerves, Father, to not be nervous. And we just give you praise and honor and glory of who you are. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. We're gathered today to glorify God and to join Cole and Ansley in holy matrimony in the presence of God and these witnesses. Marriage is not to be entered too lightly, but reverently and discreetly and advisedly, and in the fear of God, because marriage was ordained by God for a man and a woman. Genesis 2 verse 24 tells us, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. We also find in the second chapter of John, Jesus was attending a marriage ceremony when he performed his first miracle of turning water into wine. Man performs weddings, but only God can perform a marriage. The union of a man and woman starts with love, the love of God, and the love of each other. What is love? 1 John 4, 8 says, He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Cole, repeat after me. I, Cole, take the Ansley. I, Cole, take the Ansley. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. From this, day forward, from this day forward, for better or worse, for, better or worse, 
for richer or poor, richer or poor. In, sickness in, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. Ansley, repeat after me. I, Ansley, take thee cold. I, Ansley, take thee cold. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. By the power vested in me by God and the state of Georgia, I pronounce you husband and wife. Cole, you may now kiss your bride.